about Martin Luther King Jr. and how we follow all his lessons that we, that he taught us to do. What inspired me to do this was that I read a book in first grade and how there was black bathrooms and white bathrooms, black schools and white schools. And Martin Luther King was the um, one to change that. In our community, we should always be ready to stand up for each other and community is like a big family. Love and respect all including animals. Peace and happiness to all. What inspired me is a good character because if you're a good character, then you are peaceful, kind, kind, and non-violent and confident. That's why I chose a good character. I made this painting to honor Martin Luther King Jr. and he wanted everybody to protest uh, non-violently. I have been inspired by Martin Luther King because he wanted equal rights for everyone. He wanted the golden rule to be loud and respected to everyone. So that's not disrespect him. He will be remembered forever. I recently saw a rally from the balcony of my house supporting Black Lives Matter. I saw how people of different colors marched together to support the cause. I strongly believe in kindness, and I want all of us to forget our differences and help each other in need and make this world a happy and cheerful place. One of the lines in my poem says to protest peacefully but strongly. This is freedom. And that also kind of relates to Martin Luther King Jr. because he protested peacefully, but he was very strong, but strongly, and he made a big impact and changed the world. So that was pretty inspiring. My artwork is greatly inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement and the Civil War history I'm learning about. Racial injustice is a topic I feel quite strongly about, and that is why a lot of those emotions are there in my art piece. Indeed, it does include the rude, unfair things in America, like racism, homophobia, sexism, and there are many more. But it does include the fact that America is the place to be. It is the place to visit. Even though in this time where the world seems to be falling apart around us, we can always trust and rely on the heart of America. The fist represents my fight as a social justice warrior. The quote by Martin Luther King, letter from Birmingham jail, means that when you're, when you're fighting for people's freedoms, there may be consequences, but you do so in a loving, loving way. I was inspired by how during quarantine, a lot of people are feeling isolated and alone, and I wanted to spread the message that you can't cure COVID or depression, but you can let someone know that you're listening and that you're there, and while it may not seem like a lot, it can really help. What inspired me to write that poem was I looked up Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech and it really moved me. Just the fact that someone would judge me for who I am instead of this is kind of amazing. And I have that same dream. I was inspired by the events of this year, like the Black Lives Matter protests, where everyone united to continue Dr. King's mission by continuing to share this message throughout the community, others might be inspired as well so that we can finally reach the beloved community that Dr. King set out to create. The main reason I took the photo because it uses the mask to show the era of the protest representing both the pandemic and the Black Lives Matter movement. The amount of people surrounding the family portrayed the sheer power of the event. Some of my inspiration for this picture comes directly from Dr. King's words. And I think that such a meaningful flag, such a accepting flag in today's society really shows how we need to accept all and love each other equally. I wanted it to look like the conductor was conducting to all of DC but instead of a speech filling the city for Martin Luther King, it would be music that would fill the city. And the message really is that music and love can bring people together and that unity is really important.